Hi, it's Alexander from Tilda. In this video, I want to talk about the demo page that uses the zero block step-by-step -step animation and break down how it works. It looks like one big illustration with something constantly moving. It's a looped animation that keeps repeating itself. Let's see how we can make an animation like this. I use the template ID of this page, which means I can use that number to add the page to my project as a template and work my way through the options. I create a new page in my project, scroll down all the templates and enter the template ID. Now the page with all its settings is added to my project. This is zero block. Let's open the block editor to see what's inside. We highlight the element we want to explore and open the element settings here below. Let's scroll to the end and find a step-by-step -step animation tab. I click edit and open the step-by-step -step animation settings. There are three basic steps you need to take to set up any animation. Event is what starts the animation. Steps setting stands for the animation phases and properties are the element properties that will change at every step. Let's see how the animation of the ship works. Event. The animation occurs when the element appears on the screen in the browser window. In our case, the element immediately starts moving as it's located on the top of the page. Steps. There are several steps here. We can see that the movements of the ship can be divided into stages. It rises on the waves, goes down, and returns to the start position. For each movement, we create a new step. The starting step is when the ship stands flat on the waves. Step 1. I want the ship to rise a little on the waves and turn around. I add a new step, step 1. It moves a little bit up and to the right on the X and Y axes and rotates by 3 degrees. Rotate so the bow of the ship rises. All this happens within one second. Duration is a time during which the animation of a particular step takes place. The time here is measured in seconds. Next step. I want the ship to go down on the waves. Its bow goes slightly down to make the movement more believable. I also adjusted the move and rotate properties here. On the third step, the ship sinks slightly into the water. On the fourth step, it returns to its original position. What's important here? You can notice that the fourth and the first step coincide. This is done on purpose to loop the animation. So how does the looping work? We have a sequence of frames and we want to start it again immediately after the end of one animation cycle. To do this, we have the loop settings. Just select loop in the box. Now, when the four steps of the animation are done, they'll repeat themselves infinitely. Other animated elements on this page are also looped. For example, the waves. Each wave is a separate illustration, a separate picture, and each of them has its own settings. The fish were made in a similar way. The initial and final animation steps are the same. This is important so that there is no twitching, and the animation looks neat and tidy when the frames are stitched together. This is how the elements of this page are set up. Let's save it, publish the page, and see what we get. Awesome! The ship looks like it's sailing on the waves, and everything's working as it should. The page is ready. Good luck everyone, and all the best with your step-by-step -step animation projects on Tilda.